What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So um, today I'm going to walk you through a couple different uh, strategies you can use to model some stair balusters. So the like vertical picket pieces um, on stairs that run between the... Uh, that run between the stair riser and the stair rail, the vertical pieces like that. So I'm just going to walk you through a couple quick ways to do that. And uh, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to extrude these along a path. Um, so I know I have a video about extruding things along circular paths or in a circle. Um, you can also extrude things along a rectangular path. So I'm just going to walk you through kind of a couple of the different uh, the differences between those two and what they create and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing. So um, first thing you're you're pretty much always going to do when you're creating something like this that's like a shape that's turned in a circle, almost like it was turned on a lathe, like a woodworking machine, um, is you're going to draw basically a half profile. So if you were to go through and you were to just cut the baluster that you want um, right along the middle, you're going to draw half of that profile right here. And the reason you're going to do that is because you're going to take this face and you're going to extrude it either in a circle or along a different shape in order to create the shape that you want. So anyway, uh, I just want to walk you through kind of the differences. So there's like three different ways that we're going to talk about doing this. The first is you can just come in here and you can use a circular path um, in order to extrude this um, baluster. All right, so what, what you're going to do is um, probably the best way to draw this profile is just to draw a vertical rectangle and then draw your profile on the inside of it and then erase out the parts of the rectangle you don't need. And uh, I've saved you the pain and suffering of watching me go through that because it took me a little while to draw these things. Um, but anyway, so what you're going to do is once you've got your profile like this, you just come in here and click on your path that you want to extrude this along. In this case, it's a circle. And then click on that follow me tool and click on the face. And as you can see, what that does is that takes that whole thing and it extrudes it along a circular path just like that. And you can come in here and you can uh, right click to reverse the faces so that you have the right face facing outward. So that gets you a certain style. It gets you these kind of round um, baluster tops and bottoms. And it also gets you this stuff, which is kind of a nice like extruded circular shape. So that's one way you can do that. Um, the second way you can do that is instead of instead of extruding that along a um, instead of in extruding that along a circle you can also extrude it around like a rectangle so all you need to do is come in here and um, you need to make sure you draw a rectangle that's centered um, that's centered or so that your uh, baluster is centered along this face but um, as long as this is right in the center of the rectangle you should be good and then you can come in here and double click this face and then do a shift click to remove the face itself from your uh, selection. So now you've got this nice path selected. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing you did before. You've got your path. Come in here and click this follow me tool and it's going to give you a warning that uh, the path you chose doesn't begin or end on the extrusion cross section. That's okay. As, lo as long as this is a continuous path you should get a fine result. So I'm just going to come in here and reverse these faces. But as you can see, this gives you a little bit different um, shape. You know, instead of uh, this being kind of rounded, it extrudes it in a square shape, which means that your piece right here looks a little bit different. Um, these stay square at the bottom. And then this, you know, gives you more of a a squared off shape, but it's just got a different style to it. I think it looks just as good, but it just looks different. So that's one way, that's another way you can do that. So the third thing you're going to be able to do is do kind of a combination of the two things. And so what that means is you're going to extrude different parts of this along the circle and different parts of this along the uh, rectangle. So the way that you're going to do that is you're going to um, basically break off the different pieces um, by coming in here and drawing lines. So I'm going to stop right here on this face, so I'm going to separate this face right here and this face up above probably right here. So these are different faces just like this. And so then what you can do is you can come in here and you can draw you can draw a circle for one path and then you can copy this and move it over for your second path and just use the midpoint as kind of your inference point. 
So you can use uh, inferencing to make sure this is all centered. But basically what we're going to do now is a combination of the two different things that we did before. So we're going to start off and we're going to select this uh, square path and we're going to extrude this bottom piece along the square path just like this. So you see how that extrudes the uh, bottom there. So that extrudes the bottom. We're going to do the same thing up above. So you're going to select this path again and then use follow me on this upper piece right here to create the upper piece. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to use the circular path to extrude this middle piece along a circle. So what you've got now is you've got your, your uh, square baluster pieces on the top and the bottom and then you've got your rounded off stuff in the middle here. So it just kind of creates a combination feel um, between those two different extrusion styles. So you, you can use a combination of these things to basically create anything you want but um, this is just three different options for three different styles of stair baluster rails so um, I've always been kind of a big fan of the way uh, follow me to the follow me tool gives you so many options in SketchUp but anyway so that's where I'm gonna wrap up uh, this quick tutorial uh, if you like this video please take a second and click that like button down below um, also if you're new around here make sure you click that subscribe button I'm coming out with new SketchUp videos every week I'd really love to have you along for the ride and finally leave a comment below let me know if you've done anything like this in the past if you have a better way to do this um, I just kind of love to hear from you I love having SketchUp conversations with you guys so uh, once again I just uh, really want to thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video thanks guys